Alright guys, well now that we have SF on this device, there is actually already a Clockwork Mod Recovery that's unofficial but is functioning on the HTC One M8. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install that. You're actually going to be using a lot of the same files that you used when you did SF with Firewater. So um, I'll show you how to do this. Now, this thing just got released like today, yesterday, whatever you want to say. And print is really tiny. But that's really my only complaint with it, otherwise it should be a fully functioning recovery. So first thing you want to do is you actually want to go in here and you want to uninstall um, Super Sue and you want to un uninstall Weak Sauce. So you're just going to go into App Manager, scroll down here to, well Weak Sauce would be down here in the W's. I actually already installed it, but this is what you would, where you would do it and then let's see if we can find uh, Super, Super Sue should be on here. All applications to S. Come on. All right, Super Sue. And go ahead. Well, see, now it doesn't even give me an option to uninstall this because I have it installed. I actually already instead and installed recovery and did all this. So we'll do an. I'll actually do it this way. Um, I'll go ahead and go in here and do um, a full unroot. That's what I'll actually do. So, go down here, do full unroot, continue, and it should leave fully unroot the device. Yep, so that, that should work right there. All right, that'll work perfectly. All right, so everything is, is removed. You got rid of root access, you got rid of um, weak sauce application, they're both uninstalled. Uh, you may want to do a reboot too, I'm, I'm not going to right now, but it might be a good idea after you uninstall all that stuff. So what we're going to do from here is uh, go ahead and... We're going to boot into um, HBoot, our bootloader mode. So we'll power off the device. Power off. And to get into HBoot mode, like you guys have seen, you just go ahead and um, hold volume down and power. Same process, like I said, for um, getting S off, which is a prerequisite for installing recovery. So if you haven't, uh, don't know how to get S off or haven't seen that video, please watch it. I'll put it in the video description down below. So right here you can see we are unlocked and we have S off. Um, so we're doing good right there. So to flash recovery to this thing, fast boot is highlighted, so we're going to go ahead and hit power. And that's going to put us in fast boot mode. From here, you should already have your drivers working. You should have all that functioning because you have S off, so you had to do all that before. Go ahead and plug in your USB cable. If I can get mine to plug in here. There we go. And it connected to my computer. Let's shoot over to my computer and I'll show you how to do this. It's not too very hard really, honestly. All right guys, so basically um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come right here to this form. I'll give you a link of it in the video description. And you're going to download this file takes like two seconds so boom it's very fast it should download once it's downloaded you're gonna go find your ADB stuff where you did the commands to install firewater like right here you can see I have firewater right there I've actually already copied that from my downloads folder which is right here into this folder so I have that right there so from here it's very simple all you gotta do is um, hold shift on your keyboard and then right click Let's see here, get off the file, shift, and then right click. And you have a command window for this file folder, let's put it that way. So I'm going to test to make sure my fast boot drivers are working. So I'll type in fast boot devices. And it comes back with a number in fast boot. That means my drivers are working correctly. So then all you got to do is come in here and copy this right here. Copy. Go in here and hit paste and hit enter and it's writing it and boom done fast boot drivers are installed we are done on the computer and we should be able to get our recovery installed here so let's go ahead and do that all right so on the device here uh, we want to actually get into recovery right so we're just going to scroll down to where it says um H boot. I'm sorry, it's back at the top. It says H boot, and then we're just going to hit power. That's going to get us out of that fast boot mode and back into the standard bootloader mode. You can actually unplug your cable from here if you want. 
and we're gonna go ahead and go into recovery and this is gonna boot up uh, clockwork mod recovery here for us it does have a little footnote here failure to comply leading to legal actions blah 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 ignore all that stuff so this is what I'm talking about it's like super duper small okay um, now I probably should have told you this earlier but it doesn't matter, you can come back into recovery anytime you want by going into H-Boot and then selecting recovery just like you saw me do here. Um, but you probably should go ahead and get the Super Sue Zip, and I'll put it in the video description also, and put it in your downloads folder on your phone. So, just another idea, actually if you just download it to your phone from my video, you'll get it in your, it'll be in your downloads folder. So, let me zoom in here and show you guys this recovery, it's just really small. They're gonna edit it, I'm sure, and it'll be big and it'll make it work, but right now this is just, you know, new right off the bat. Um, and if you download it in a month or two, it may look totally different. So, but this is what it should look like right now and is functional. So let me show you how to get root access, or full root access on this device. All right, this is, like I said, very, very, very tiny. So basically all you do is, um, the first one you can scroll down to, it says install zip. Select it with power. Um, next one says install zip from SD card. Again, select with power. Zero folder, select that one. And then scroll down here to downloads with the volume button. And click downloads. And then this is where you'd have that Super Sue zip. Mine says update Super Sue um, 1.94. Select it. Say yes to flash it. And it actually is showing you some progress down here in the bottom and it actually finished already that was quite quick so we'll just go down the bottom select that it says go back then the first top one says uh, reboot system now and there you go we're rebooting so while this is rebooting let me see if I can get my camera working better for you there's your Verizon right there and you're probably gonna see this little like Android is upgrading thing or I think it's yeah right here Android is upgrading there it is so you can see that right there, that's that's standard. You're gonna see that anytime you flash um, Super Sue, or most of the time, anytime you want to flash almost any uh, zip, it pretty much gives you that Android is upgrading right there. Okay, so we're booted up. We have custom recovery installed. I would highly recommend making an Android backup. Um, I'm really waiting on Torp recovery on this thing, but this does get you that full root functionality instead of just having that root functionality in XBin. So we should be able to use exposed modules and all that kind of good stuff like you guys have seen before and you're used to. So if you come down here, there it is, Super Sue. And actually, there it's actually maintained some of my stuff I had root access with before. Um, and then just if you want to prove that it's functioning right, I actually had to let this thing sit for a little bit the first time I did this before it would actually work with root checker. But let's give it a shot and see if it'll function for us. Verify root access, and it does. So there you go. That's how to get, um, I, w I would say full root, but I guess that's not really right. But, you know, not the just XBIN root with weak sauce, but normal root like you're used to. And um, get custom recovery on here, even though it's kind of minuscule and hard to see. It is on there and functioning. And now you can go ahead and start modding out your device. Make your first Android backup, and you will be uh, running smooth. So, hope you guys like this video on installing recovery on the s -Oft. HTC One M8 Verizon, along with installing Super Sue Zip to get full root access. Hope you guys like it, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.